Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. These messages are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you, what their next move is going to be, and so on. So let's see, what's this person's energy towards Cancer? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. New beginning, new beginning. This person, this is someone who wants to work on the connection. I see with the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles that this person is willing to work through any conflict and i feel like i don't know why i feel like this is future like say because i'm hearing like it's weird next week i don't know for some of you like next week i've never gotten a time frame in my head like that <laughs> before but for some of you next week they're gonna start to see um how they can fix the relationship or they're going to be more motivated to work on things with you i don't feel like it's right now for a lot of you i feel like it's either next week or after sometime after that i don't know but i see someone because the ace of swords is all about you know making something work after it's been a rough time after after things it's like kind of against all odds type of thing so, Hermit, okay, somebody's distant in this connection. Wow, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, and the Hermit. But I didn't ask any question. These just came out. Could be a Virgo that you're dealing with, some of you. But I see that somebody pulled away. Someone's, like, completely retreated. This does look like... The whole cancer retreating into their shell type of energy so it could be you that has retreated but let me see what's cancer's energy towards this person cancer's energy towards this person wow 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 five of swords three of swords the devil some of you wow some of you are in a really really uncomfortable position right now because you seem to be there seems to be a lot of conflict or you feel conflicted here and then the three of swords you're feeling heartbroken in this situation some of you it could be that this person right now is not putting in any effort or you just feel like you just feel like giving up and moving on with the devil i see that the reason why it's an uncomfortable position is because you feel hurt and you feel like walking away but at the same time you feel like you don't want to leave as well like you still feel tied to the connection so it's kind of uncomfortable because you know you may still love this person we got pisces and cancer energy with the moon so there's this uh, i feel like there's a lot of conflu confusion <laughs> a lot of confusion in your mind and um that's why because i, I heard um i heard cloudy in my head so that's why i said that's why I said it like that. <laughs> there's like, your head is really clouded and there's a lot of confusion right now is what I'm feeling from you, from some of you. What's the recent past energy for Cancer? What went on in the recent past? Okay. Some of you may have been single in the recent past and decided to um, give love a chance i don't feel like this is for for all of you or a lot of you it's just it seems like a very specific message for a small group of people like you were recently single and you were fine that way you decided okay let me take a risk some of you knew that the risk would be getting hurt because i mean once you decide to fall in love there's always the risk of getting hurt always so i feel like some of you went from single to this and then like now it just it's like why did i do that why did i why did i get attached to somebody basically some of you are feeling some regret about getting attached to someone what's the energy of this connection okay 
your cards are coming out so weird <laughs> today it's, it's they're just like stepping out of the deck like growing legs and stepping out so we got the, the two of wands some of you are in a long distance relationship with this person but there is this whole thing where you're putting your foot down you're really guarded when it comes to this person with the queen of swords there might be a reconciliation very soon but some of you the issue might be a third party situation where you felt like there was someone involved but i see because this person is going to be ready to step up there is that reconciliation type of energy stepping in but we'll see we have the king of swords as well gemini libra aquarius energy let me see give me some insight please for cancer and their connection some insight for cancer and their connection okay oh wow all right so we have the chaser chaser in codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues some of you may have taken this risk of being in love opening opening up and some of you might have abandonment issues and so those things can be triggered here the way this fell in reverse it really caught my attention focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work and self-appreciation it fell in reverse i feel like some of you are neglecting this um and this is really what is gonna help you get out of this uncomfortable situation your self-love you focusing on yourself you putting the energy back into yourself so that you can feel good you know so you can feel better so we have mask not showing true feelings hide personify pretend delude and gaslighting it's either you never like you didn't want to show your true feelings or this person didn't want to show their true feelings we have heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling lost grieving mourning i see that it's showing right here we have coffee cup meeting and conversing savoring the moment feeling uplifted in friendship some of you are going to be connecting with friends so that you can feel a little bit better about this get some help so we have virgo energy and gemini libra aquarius and capricorn so far with the devil let me look at your person and see how they feel because they look like they look like they're gonna make some moves but let's see the person that cancer is dealing with show me their energy how do they feel about cancer really how do they feel about cancer what's their next move gonna be How do they view the relationship? Show me this person's energy when it comes to cancer. Okay, yeah. So there is emotional distance here. Wow. could be an Aries we have the Emperor energy we have this person wanting to maintain control like to keep control sustain control of their emotions I feel like that's why they have become emotionally distant with the eight of cups they feel like the relationship might be over because they're seeing you as the five of swords so this person sees that you have kind of given up or walked away from the situation that that there's a lot of conflict when it comes to, to you um we have the three of pentacles 
they do i feel like this person if they want to reconcile they want to start off as friends they want to kind of work on things slowly some of you they might be trying to bring a third party in for help as in like a therapist third party can just be somebody who comes in it doesn't have to be cheating it could be like a relationship coach marriage coach someone who steps in to help you too but um we have the tower in the center i feel like some of you may have left this person suddenly causing them a t causing them to experience a tower moment a sudden change in their life they do feel like this is a major change um the magician is what's blocking they feel that they feel a lack of control they feel a lack of control and i feel like this person likes to feel like they have some type of control when it comes to their emotions and so they they also are in an uncomfortable situation but not as uncomfortable as you um i feel like you're hurting a lot more than them i feel like they're running from the emotions because the vulnerability makes them feel like they're not in control so they just avoid that we have the king of cups as their next move i see that this this person may try to offer you love i did see earlier sorry it's not the table i did see earlier that this person will soon feel the need to make the effort and work on this connection so this king of cups kind of connects with that position of what you need to know is strength whenever this is in that kind of position it means you're stronger than you think you are you know and you've gotten through some of you have gotten through something like this before and you can again okay so it's not the end of the world you are strong okay the outcome for this person the empress they do want i feel like they want to experience growth they want to see the relationship move forward however right now in this current current moment they have distanced themselves because they don't want to feel that feeling of vulnerability that's what i feel they don't want to feel vulnerable let me look at your side of things you could be dealing with a leo libra aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio so far show me cancer's energy in this situation how do they feel what does cancer need to know here what does cancer need to know when it comes to their situation how does cancer feel giving an outcome for cancer oh lord the devil card Some of you are feeling like this person might be seeing someone else with the three of cups there's a lot of threes coming out again with the aries energy the emperor but wow yeah you have the fear some of you have the fear of abandonment because you in your fears you have the ten of swords and it's like your fears came true you felt you feel abandoned you feel defeated um but the Ten of Swords is all about an ending that brings a new beginning. So like I said, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have the Four of Wands. Your feelings for this person are quite, you know, they're quite, they're there. They, they haven't moved. That's why you feel so strongly about this. We have the Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. Some of you feel like... especially if you're with a fire sign especially if you you are with the aries i feel like you um this relationship has been a little bit too rough for you like you feel that there's been some harshness maybe harsh things said or harsh things done the in the position of your wishes you do wish for someone to offer you something more stable something that you can rely on 
something that won't trigger your abandonment issues if you have them but the thing is that starts inside of you that starts with you healing those wounds because when you have those wounds you will attract people who make that happen because your subconscious mind only knows how to repeat what went on in your childhood it's like a repeating tape if you felt that in your childhood you're gonna keep feeling it throughout life unless you you know go into that meditative state and go back to that time kind of reverse the damage or picture the situation happening differently in your childhood or changing the way you felt about it type of thing you'd have to research how to heal that but basically from what i know if you have these issues they they will keep being triggered until you heal because and that, because that's how the mind works it's just, it just repeats what it, what it's learnt basically so if your energy says that you as a person that you are someone who gets abandoned then you will be someone who gets abandoned it sounds harsh i don't make the rules but that's just how the mind works i've been studying the mind the subconscious mind and i found those things to be true so i mean you do your own research this is not like one of those videos talking about that but i'm just saying that if you do want this stable relationship to come to you whether it's from this person or from the next person you have to get rid of the the issues that you have so that your your mind is repeating a more stable situation for you where you're not abandoned you get what i'm saying so you reverse that basically you take out that tape and you put in a new tape basically <laughs> so we have um the emperor in the center this is you and your your like your need for control is the aries card but it's it's in the center of you your side of things so you you want to get control but the thing is going back to the mind the programs that we have from childhood they just repeat it's like a computer if you put in certain softwares the computer only knows how to run those softwares so you have to take those out and put in new ones because our minds like the computer is designed like our minds i feel like i'm being annoying but i'm trying to get you to understand what this region is trying to tell you it's trying to tell you that if you want this if you want a, a real relationship where you don't experience abandonment where you don't feel these feelings again whether it's with this person or the next you have to reprogram your mind that's what i needed to say reprogram your mind because it does work like a computer and it will run the programs that it knows to run and that's it so that's why you have to <laughs> if you want to run a certain program you have to put that in just like if you want to learn to dance you have to practice train the mind to, you know the mind starts to realize okay you're trying to learn to dance cool then you after a while you're able to dance with all the practice it's the same thing as how you want to structure your life how you want your relationship to be you have to train your mind to attract the stable relationship and not the abandonment that you experience in your childhood or any type of rejection you experience in your childhood that causes issues now because i would say 90 percent of the world have these issues i mean it's kind of how the world is right now and that's why we're learning these new things about the mind and how to fix how to heal the world basically so anyway seven of swords is your next move i see you pulling away some of you already have pulled away from this person but there's more indication that you are running away from this situation because it's making you feel these negative feelings that you don't want to feel in the position of what you need to know is ace of cups this could be this person coming forward and trying to offer you love again possibly doesn't mean that you're going to take it i just see that offer because i did see that they are gonna af after a while eventually feel the need to step up and they do have the king of cups here as a next move so this love offer could really be coming but it depends on you like do you trust that this person won't abandon you again 
or are you going to work on these issues and see what happens see if the universe removes this person from your life and brings you that stable person that you've always wanted it could be this person but if your energy kind of pushes them away and creates the abandonment issues i'll talk about it more at the end of the reading so i'm not wasting anyone's time but if your energy is attract is causing you to push people away to to make that abandonment real over and over again then you'll probably always see the worst in this person and probably in anyone you meet so five of cups is your outcome crying over spilled milk three of wands waiting oh boy you see this is this is the process of healing and getting over someone if your wound is fresh like say you you just just got hurt just just started to feel abandoned by this person you're gonna kind of go through the 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 feelings of loss the five of cups here for a little while but you will you will get over it let's say a few days few weeks but that will happen you will feel better you have to feel better eventually okay so let me look at these cards here any messages for cancer children you see your love life is being affected by children the inner child i'm going to talk about this after i'm done messages for cancer true love this is the romance of a lifetime and give your relationship a chance it could be this person but let me see this this could be the one is what this says you've already met the romantic partner you seek give me messages for cancer helpful people within the next few months if you believe and romance so again if you believe and this kind of ties into what i'm gonna go into so maybe i'm about to be the helpful people that you need because i'm going to explain it to you now so i'm done with the reading basically the person will show up for those of you who don't want to hear me blabber on this person most likely will show up with an offer but the question is how are you going to feel about it basically when that happens all right i'm going to do february cancer reading in like like the day after this the day after no the day after tomorrow so there'll be i guess an update here but let me tell you what's going on with, with you if you have abandonment issues so like i said our mind is like like from age zero to seven when we're just born till age seven our mind is in this kind of recording mode i, I forgot what it is it's not it's not alpha day i think it's theta i don't remember but there's videos on this here on YouTube you can you can look it up so yeah your mind is basically recording everything from age 0 to 7 so you have to look at what happened to you during those years during your childhood were you abandoned did you feel like you did your parents go away for a while did you think that they weren't gonna come back do you have um, younger siblings how do you feel when they were born Did your parents like put them on a pedestal and kind of ignore you anything like that can make a child feel unwanted abandoned rejected and this is why like most people in the world have these issues because our parents i feel like they did the best job most of us don't have parents who deliberately cause these negative um feelings in us most of us have parents who just thought that they did the best they could but they probably i don't know treated the younger children better than us or you know maybe went away on vacation together not knowing that their kids were feeling abandoned you know they were just they were just trying to be parents and live life at the same time so these little things can affect um, a child 
between the ages of zero and seven and cause these feelings because like for example the child doesn't know that the parents might come back and you know kids have a crazy imagination probably thinking what if my parents lied and they're not really coming back and they abandoned me those things can cause i mean they're so small and simple but they really mess us up as kids so once we get past the age of seven our brain goes into a different i think it's alpha i think a different um it's, it's a different wave so it's now just repeating what happened from zero to seven so if you experience abandonment every relationship you end up in and everyone you're attracted to will be that person who will cause the abandonment and even if and i've seen this happen a lot even if the person doesn't want to abandon you you will push that person to the point where they abandon you for example i've seen someone like they've had a good person but they kept accusing that person of this and that causing that person now accusing them of everything and because they just had this paranoia that this person's doing is cheating and whatever end up pushing that person away and ending up feeling abandoned because the person couldn't take it anymore and left you know so it kind of it does that it makes you relive these things it makes you relive the same tape from age zero to seven over and over again it's the same with um, money if you were programmed like if you went if you didn't have a lot of money growing up you would have to reprogram your the way you see money as an adult because you'll continue those poverty um, patterns through adulthood because that's what the brain knows that's what the brain recorded that's the tape the brain recorded that's the program it's running on because that that's what it saw from age zero to seven so like i said i'm not a therapist so i i've looked into how to heal um but you'd have to look it up and really like find a way i did um what do you call it inner child healing meditations those are really good it helps you to like they guide you to go back and see your inner child and hug your inner child like hugging yourself as a young child and telling yourself you know as an adult to you as a child saying you know this happened but it's okay it didn't mean that it, it's not what you thought it's just this you know kind of correcting the damage and then you kind of merge with your inner child so that because your inner child is you basically it's a part of your mind so you merge with that this new inner child who now has a new understanding that they were not abandoned that someone loves them that they you know that they're enough and then you reconnect with that child and then i guess you do that for like seven days or maybe 30 days if you're really serious and it kind of rewires the mind the way it sees things so you no longer i've experienced no longer feeling like like no longer feeling overly attached to things and to people no longer feeling like oh my god this person's gonna leave me you know it it really gets rid of those things that you don't want to feel so you can have normal relationships without worrying or experiencing the abandonment you know i think it works i believe it works i've seen it work and I think I think it's worth it. It's it's annoying to have to do these meditations every day, but for your life and for what you want for your life, it's worth it to just do like thirty days or seven days of that. It's 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 like an investment basically to change your life. So look into what you have to do to heal. Find something that you feel uh, would benefit you. Where I live, I don't have therapists, so I have had no choice but to do my own thing. But if you have therapists where you live, it's good to get professional help if you have these issues, but it's it's worth it for your life. Because I see that you want, you want something you can, like a relationship you don't have to worry about, you know? So yeah, cancer, 
I already ended the reading. All right, so check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we got Aries, Leo, um, Libra. Mate, those are the main signs. But there's some fire signs. Sagittarius as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.